there's a true disconnect, right? So the hiring manager, you know, believes that the recruiters, and this is where the, the, the wisdom comes in, you know, and the advice comes in. So the hiring manager um, believes that the recruiter is like this magician, right? So it's like a wizard, like, we're going to find you that unicorn. That unicorn is going to come right out of that hat. <laughs> and it's, it, it's, not, it's not so. So the recruiter is your strategic partner, okay? And you should be treating that person accordingly. You need to set them up for success. So, you know, it, the recruiter, you need to give them the time and the attention, yeah. right? If you're busy, then reschedule that meeting, that intake meeting, right? So it, it, they're not going to do they're not going to do a good job unless you give them the tools to do to 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 do that job for you. Yeah, I mean, it's like anything that I do or that you do, or it's sort of like the the creative is only as ever, ever as good as the brief. Exactly. Right. If exactly. you if you don't spend time on on the brief and getting it right, and actually having a conversation about that as opposed to just a communication, get me this, do me this, make this for me. What find me this person, you know, whatever it is, it's really got to be a thorough, you know, conversation where you have that back and forth and those, you know, those questions asked and answered um, so that, you know, th th there's clarity because if there's no conversation, there's no clarity. So there's I'm no sure. clarity. I mean, also, like, be prepared to be challenged, right? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I can't say enough. Like, I've had hiring managers that say, well, don't you have the job description? Like, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, of course I can read, you know, but. <laughs> what else? <laughs> what else? Yeah. What else is that? You know, is, yeah. is you know, I hired thousands of marketing managers, and I will tell you that every single one of those positions have been different in their own way. Mm -hmm. So, what? Who's your ideal candidate? Who are the competitors? You know, why is this position going to be different than the competitors' position? And how yeah. are you going to brand that position and bring that talent to you? So you need to really educate your recruiter on the context and the specifics. And I would think also, I mean, one of the things that, that I've often found too is that when people put the success criteria together, the, you know, the, okay, needs to be, uh, you know, a good team player and, you know, all this stuff, yeah. right? Um, they're not necessarily prioritizing that criteria. Yeah. So, you know, they, they have this long list of, you know, requirements, but they're not actually really prioritizing that to sort of say, okay, at a minimum, we need these three things from this candidate. Um, and then they, you know, they might end up sort of hiring the wrong person because they hadn't got that criteria really, you know, ironed out. And then they, they, they sort of fall into like the halo effect or, you know, they went to the same school or they know somebody or, you know, whatever it, you know, whatever it might be. And of course, that that is a, is a, is a disaster for diversity and inclusion, too, in terms of just, getting a, you know, helping you get a diverse workforce. So, yeah, I mean, it's a big it's a big issue.